All right, this is just a little test of my uh, bog bubbler. I'm standing in the bog right now. I don't actually have it running. As you can see, there's nothing coming out of the pipe in the, uh, in the vase. I've just got a hose, which spits out, I think, like maybe 600 gallons of water an hour. Uh, anyways, as always, I don't have a... Uh, I took a bunch of pictures and videos of how this went together, but I don't have uh, time to edit them all together into tutorial. I just want to keep trucking on this. Uh, but anyways, this is kind of a fun little feature. About six, seven hundred gallons an hour coming over this. I'll have more once the uh, once the bog is running. Just some uh, just some river rock in there. I'll dress it up with you know bigger with bigger rocks and stuff. And um, I've got to fix this spillway and you know carve everything back and do the edging and whatnot. But uh, I just use a piece of scrap liner. This base is sitting on what I did is behind this. Uh, the actual bog liner, you can see there's the bog liner back there and then there's the edge of this bib liner that I have. Uh, and this bib liner is raised up above the, uh, the top of the, the gravel in the bog. Uh, I put a milk crate in there, ran a one inch line, which is hiding under here, I'll show you. This is another part of my disguised plumbing. I've just got this pile of gravel that's in the, inside the bib liner that I can just, whenever I need to, pull it back and there's, there's my plumbing down there that I can get at when I need to. Um, well, anyway, so yeah, I put a I put a milk crate in there, ran a one inch line up to right to there, um, made sure everything was level and plumb, and uh, then backfilled around the around the uh, milk crate with gravel so it was nice and sturdy. Put the bib liner in, cut the bib liner just a little slit over the pipe that comes through. Um, but I'll stuck the. Uh, Stuck the uh, uh, the vase on there and then just foamed all the joints and it's not watertight. In fact, I've rebuilt this stupid thing. This is the third time I built this now. The first time I tried to use a piece of underlayment, uh, of woven underlayment for the bib liner. That did not work at all. It wouldn't hold water. It does hold water, but not well enough to uh, to get uh, you know, to hold a pool uh, in there for very long. And then, uh, why did I redo it the second? Oh, the second time. The, this time I'm redoing it because I used this crappy old broken. Uh, milk crate and it, it's cracked on the top so it was not as strong as it should be and I had it full of gravel and it just busted it even more and what I think I'm gonna do this time is I'm not gonna fill it full of gravel like I had it filled up to here with gravel it doesn't actually need to be too much more sturdy than it is now I think I'm just gonna put enough gravel in there to get this light to turn up and it's gonna be like a beam of light coming out of the out of the top of this thing I'll paint the I'll paint the standpipe black so that you can't really see it all right it's not very visible and then what else? Yeah, just a, just a little bit of edging, uh, the main bog edging, and then the bib liner edging over that. Um, oh yeah, and then I foamed everything. All the where the where the vase connects to the bib liner, where the bib liner comes over the uh, comes over the uh, the standpipe. I just foamed it all in. And one thing I learned the last time I did this, the second time I built this dumb thing, it only takes a couple hours to build it, but you know. Um, is that I used I use this PL roofing. It's a polyurethane roofing sealant. It's a it's a caulk and it's amazing at sealing. In fact, uh, I'm probably going to use it where uh, where some watertight joints are more critical. It was actually too much. Uh, it, was, it actually works too well. Uh, it would not release any water. I was trying to find ways to poke holes in it so I could actually get this thing to drain when it was turned off. Because in the winter, when I want to turn it off, I want it to drain down because there's going to be a light in there. I don't want the light to freeze in there and crack. So when you turn the when you turn the flow off to it, I want this all to just slowly, you know, release the water down into the into the uh, into the bog here. And now that I'm just using foam, you know, foamed around all the joints, which is not watertight, it's it's water resistant. Uh, that works a lot better. It'll it'll all drain down in a couple of hours, which is much better. Anyways, just wanted to show you this thing. Uh, it'll look a little bit different when it's done, but I think it's kind of cool. 